Ezra. Hi, doctor. I am Ezra. I have uh, been teaching for 16 years and I live in Istanbul. And, uh, and I am very happy that being here again. <laughs> okay. I'm happy to see you again. I got my old crew back. <laughs> Almost everyone. Yes. Uh, and Jimmy, could you please introduce yourself? Well, Daria, yeah. allow me to ask Jamil to introduce himself. He's one of my closest friends. Oh, perfect. And we've been sure. talking on Facebook for, um, let's say, almost one year. So, Jamil, uh -huh. Nasser, would you please take a moment and introduce yourself? He's an English teacher, by the way. Well, he was an English teacher. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Jamil, unmute your microphone, please. <laughs> his microphone is muted yeah i think okay. he, has, he has to unmute it it's not me i've just asked him to unmute his microphone okay still waiting for you jamil hello husband Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi, Dr. Vasile. Hello. Hello. I'm Jamil from uh, Mesopotamia, Iraq. I'm a retired oh. teacher at the moment. OK. I'm proud of being an English teacher. I'm sure my students are proud of me. Uh, because uh, I have uh, got a sense of humor <laughs> by uh, joking, uh, because, you know, uh, language is fun. So uh, when you, the lesson is interesting, there is no doubt your students uh, will be very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been teaching English for about uh, 38 years ago. Wow. So, uh, I have uh, much experience in this, uh, you know, subject. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm, I'm so delighted and happy of being a type amazing, uh, led by uh, Dr. Brasile. Uh, thank you very much. This is what I have. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you ask me about my hobby, I like nature I like uh, saying singing <laughs> <laughs> okay all right we'll go thank you very thank you you're welcome doctor how is husband I I'm good how are you I'm just I'm just thinking about the word you've just used which is delighted well, which is uh, a great first word. of all I first uh, when I saw I thought that you are a <laughs> from uh, US, but uh, you've said, tell me that you're Algerian. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a native speaker. I'm from Algeria. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this uh, very, very amazing interview. Okay, so let's go to Khalid. Khal Khal now. Doctor, that's Kh Khalid. Kh Hali, Hali. Yeah. Holly. Yeah. Let's go to Halid now, the silent K. All right. Halid. Uh, <clears throat> we're, 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 we're introducing ourselves now at the moment. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. I can. So my name is Halid. I am from Algeria. Mm -hmm. I'm a researcher. In a research center, so I'm uh, 33 years old, mm. and I am uh, I'm glad to be here with you. Happy to. This have is my you. first class with you. Thank you. I'm very happy that you're here. And let's thank you go. very much. And there's Moa. Moa, would you take a moment and introduce yourself? 
please. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your uh, opportunity. It's uh, very beautiful. And my name is Marwa and I'm from Jordan. I graduated from university in um, I studied chemistry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm looking uh, for a job and uh, um, I'm working to improve my English to have like a good um, to have a good uh, chance mm -hmm. in the future, maybe. And well, I that's say, it. Okay, that's fine. That, and I love it. I want to say mm -hmm. that you are in good hands because my dearest friends, Ezra, Haseen, and Daria, we have worked together for a long time. And we've lost touch, we, ca we catch up. So I'm really happy to be able to, see, and there were others, maybe they will join us. Um, but as children grow, they grow, then they leave, and then they start a life of their own. So I'm really happy that they are still with me. So you will learn a lot just in, the, in this upcoming six weeks, each of you, if you are willing to play full out. I do have a lesson for us for today to start and I'll try to enter entertain some of the other things that you want to do as I build a business of or courses for English language learners and I want you to be comfortable in this ses in these sessions knowing that I'm not trying to sell anything I'm really just doing the research and learning how I can best help individuals so I want to first start out by asking how many of you actually read the PDF? And be honest, did you read the PDF that I sent about the turtles? If you didn't read it, I just want to hear from you. Did anyone not read it? Yes, I have read it. Okay, that's one that read it. Okay, who else read it? If you read it, say, yes, I did. did I read it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, fantastic. So I've heard all everyone has said that they read it. Now, the next thing that I want you to do, because this is a private group, you are being live streamed in my larger group, but you will do activities in the private group. And in order to do the activities in the private group, you'll need to join the private group. I'm going to post now. Uh, I'm going to post now the link in the private group. I think I am. I don't know. I probably won't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that on my cell phone and my laptop. But in an email I sent to you, the information about the private group and I will send it again today join the private group so you'll have access to the information that I want you to be able to attune yourself to as you learn so Hussein and I had talked about how we would do today's lesson and I want to say that I'm going to focus on the letter s so it's a very short lesson hopefully my computer will do as it is supposed to do and I just want to share this short video. It's just three minutes. And I'm sure most of you read it. or well, not read it, but listen to it. But we're going to listen to it again. And after we listen to the sound of S, we're going to um, go into today's lesson. YouTube. YouTube. And if you did not know, when you all participate by going to my YouTube channel and watching a video. I don't expect you to watch all of the videos, but occasionally just go in and look at a video. Look at a short one. Like this one is only three minutes. Give me three minutes of your time. This could be in exchange for the lessons that I'm teaching you. This way I can build up my algorithm or an exposure on YouTube and in some small way. I'll be compensated for that. So now I'm still looking for the YouTube channel. I'm looking for my channel. And my mouse is not really wanting to work with me. I don't want to upload anything. I just want to go to my channel. And I hope I'm sharing my screen. Am I sharing my screen? Yeah. Great. Okay, so this video is yep. the, it's the little video. So let's take a quick listen. And I did this video. Hey, everybody. Today's so lesson this little video. is about that letter S. The S, as you may well know, can make many different sounds. It can make the hissing sound similar to that of a snake. 
That's an amazing sound. And once you master that sound, you're well on your way to being able to pronounce the three forms of the letter S. The next sound is the is sound. Is sound. That's the IC sound. And if you put your fingers up to your throat, you'll feel that vibration is, is, unlike when you have the hissing sound. There is no vibration at all. And the third sound is the sound of Z, 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 Z. And you'll have that vibration in your throat as well. So those sounds again are the like the sound of a snake. The Z sound. And then you also have the is, is, is sound. All right? Got that? Now, let's talk about these sounds independent. The S sound that's not voiced, you will hear that S in words like books. 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 There's absolutely no vibration when you're saying the word books. If you put your fingers up to your throat, you will not feel the vibration when you use the word with the letter S. Books. Books. Then we have the voiced words, and that would be, let's, let's go with the word words, words, words. If you put your hands through your throat, you will hear and feel the vibration. Words, 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 and that's the Z sound. And the last sound is the is sound. If you put your hand again through your throat, and we're going to say the word watches, 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 and you have the IC sound. Got it? Great. Now, if I put all three of these together, the is, the s, and the z sound, when we look at the IC, we have words like buses, buses, and you'll have the vibration if you put your hand through your, to your throat, watches watches, and Alice's, Alice's, Alice's. You can feel it if you put your hand there. I want you to practice this. Watch the video again and again and again, and you'll get it. Now, the S sound. Books, no vibration. Sleeps, no vibration. Mics, no vibration. Books, sleeps, mics. Now, for the Z sound. Listen carefully. And you can feel the vibration. Words, plays, Mary's. I think you have it. <laughs> okay, so that was the sounds that I want you to be aware of as we interact with the PDF about the turtle. So Haas, would you, um, Haas, could you speak to Mohammed? He says, um, you're so dear to him. Let him know what he needs to do to join and Masood. They all have the link, but the link, I believe, is somewhere on the Facebook page that they're watching from. So if you could just tell them to click that link, they can join. Otherwise, they will only be able to watch. Haas, could you? Okay, well, okay, well if they register, they can um, find the link in the email that you sent to them, Dancer. If they didn't register, we have already posted the link to today's session on the Facebook group on SpeakSex. Speak, speak Excellent English Facebook group, they can find the link there. Great. Okay. And everyone, some people are coming from, who I'm not exactly sure I should say, but some other groups that did not get a letter, but they heard from me today and they just got the link, but I did not add them, but they can join now just as, just by clicking on that link, they can join today. Okay. All right. So now, Haas, do you want to go on and read the PDF or how did you okay. want to, you, if you want to pull up the PDF and read it you can or you can just read it from your computer you can share your screen if you need to well doctor I will love you share the um the text on on your screen so 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 as everybody can see that the text I think it's not possible for me to share the text I was trying to share it by it in the work
You are muted, doctor. Your microphone. All right, just keep talking until I pull it up then, Haas. Okay, okay. While you're looking for the text, we can say hello to Rafiq. He's one of my closest friends, too. He's from Algeria, so, so hey, there, how are you? Hey, I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, would you, would you take a brief moment and introduce yourself, please? Hello, everybody. My name is Rafik. I'm from Algeria. I'm 31. I, I work a uh, craftsman and uh, I would like to learn uh, uh, English and uh, practice uh, more. And thank you. Thank you, doctor. Well, thank you for being here today. We have another one. Um, we have Masood Farvaj. I believe he's already um, um, introduced himself, but we need to hear him again. How are, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Would you take a moment uh, to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, at first I am uh, extremely sorry for being late. And I want to thank Dr. Priscilla. And I am Khandagar Master's Progress from Bangladesh. And I am 26 years old. And I have graduated from sociology. And I like to do uh, helpless people, to help the helpless people. And I'm very generous and honest man. And that's all. Okay, Thank we're you. happy to have you among us too. So we have people from Turkey, from Algeria. And we have people from Bangladesh and Jordan. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, from Iraq too, which is something great. I'm so happy to um, have you join today's class. So doc doctor, have you find the text? Yes, is it not showing now? I think it should be showing. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. It All right. Now I'll just suggest it whenever you need me to. It's there. Okay. Okay. Well, should I start reading or? Um... Yeah, this would be great unless someone has a question. The ones that just join, if they have not read it, you might just check to see if they've read it already. Okay. Well, guy, I believe Daria has read the text. Rafiq as well, um, Ezra too, and um, Marwa. What about the rest? Jamil, have you read the text? Jamil, are you still there? I don't see him. So maybe, oh, me neither. maybe he's no longer with us. All right. Okay. Why don't you just go ahead and start? I guess that'll be okay. Okay. Turtles walk delays plane at, at Tokyo airport. There are many reasons for delays at airports. Sometimes it's bad weather. Sometimes it's a technical problem. And another time it's a passenger who is late to the boarding gate. Narita airport. Um, where am I? Well, um, Narita airport in Tokyo, Japan has added a new cause for flight delays at Turtle. Going for a walk, the runway, um, the runway at Narita had to close for 12 minutes because a 2.1 kilogram turtle was spotted on a tarmac. Tarmac. Is that the right pronunciation? Tarmac. 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 A tarmac. Mm -hmm. Okay. The pilot of an airplane waiting to take off told air traffic controllers about the small reptile at around 11.35 a.m. There was an immediate search for it. This caused the delay um, of five flights. Airport staff managed to locate the creature. They safely removed it with a net. They reported it was unharmed. Do I keep breathing, doctor, or should we let it for someone else? No, continue. Why don't you continue? Okay. A Narita airport spokesman said she believed the turtle lived in a nearby pond. 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 It uh -huh. managed to get under a fence alongside the airport and crawl onto the runway. The turtle might have decided to sunbathe because the because of the warm weather. 
it was a lot warmer than usual at the airports for the time of the year. Shortly after the turtle was cut, an A380 airplane took off from the runway. By coincidence, the A380 was painted in a turtle design. The plane was from the Japanese airline ANA. It was going to the island of Akinawa in the south of Japan. An ANA spokesman said that turtles, turtles are seen as bringing good luck. We hope this turtle who, co who, who came to see the flight of signals a bright future. Okay. I hope very, so. Very good. So in this article, there were quite a few words and just looking at the very last one, signals, signals, that is a word that ends in S. So I want to make sure that you can pronounce the letter S. This is what we were focusing on for this particular lesson. But in future lessons, I will entertain the idea of what your interest is. But because this is our very first lesson, I wanted to prepare something. I also asked if you could pronounce all 10 of those words. So maybe each one of us can take turns. No. Yes, each one of us can take turns in, in saying these words, uh, and I'm going to, how many are in here now, Haseem? We are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are eight, doctor. Okay, so I'm going to put you in breakout rooms, in the breakout rooms right now, so there will be three or four in one. I'll go in and out of them. So Dara, Durya. And Hasin will moderate each room. And I want you to talk about, oh, oh what did we decide to do, Hasin? What were, what were we going to do? What did we decide to do, Hasin? Uh, Hasin, you are unmuted. Okay. I think um, something that would be great to start with is to ask people in this um, session if they understood the um, contents of the text. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be better to do that in the smaller group or just in this open group right now first? Okay, we can we can do this here, and then when we go into breakout rooms, we can go to something else. Okay, so let's talk about, I'm just going to try and move this down to the bottom and stop sharing so we can all see each other. I don't know if you all have ever seen so, Something today. else has just joined the session, actor. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. And welcome them while I move this out of my way. Okay. Because I can't see anything other than this this uh, document. Yeah, I'm talking about my nephew, doctor. Oh, oh your nephew. Oh, hi there. <laughs> How are just you? leave the session. Okay. Well, I'm really able to join the session, I guess. Yeah, I'm happy that he's here. He will grow up with me and he'll be a teenager before long. And he'll say, I remember Dr. Priscilla. And I'm trying to stop sharing the screen. There it is. There. Okay. So now everyone can see everyone without the document covering. So what we are doing at this moment is briefly discussing the article. And for me, a discussion is more pointedly asking a question, asking a question, then waiting for a response or adding to the response or asking for clarification on the question. So as an example, I might say, while I was, I'm practicing my speaking. So think about the way that you want to ask the question based on the article. So I'm going to say, listen to how I'm phrasing my question. As I read this article, I understood that a turtle was on the tarmac. What is a tarmac? I'm not sure what a tarmac is. Does anyone have an answer for that? No. I guess uh, it is an as asphalt. Okay, great. That yeah. is what it is, Daria. But remember, you already can speak English, but for those who are learning... That's a great question, Dr. Priscilla. A tarmac is the asphalt where the plane is going to run off the runway. So it's the road. It's the, no the way. solid. It's the solid place. So you want to practice speaking as best as you can, because I know Duria should be able to remember those introductory phrases. That's a great question. Or, hmm, remember Duria? 
Mm. Or was that, was that, who was that answer? Was it you, Daria, or was it Ezra? Who answered? I, yeah, I that was Daria. Yeah. You haven't forgotten the, that's a great question, right? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, <laughs> uh, if, this synonym would be asphalt for Tormek. Okay, good. Thank you for that. So again, just trying to get you to speak. I expect mm -hmm. more from Durya, Ezra, and Haseen. <laughs> yeah. We okay, can doctor, say... maybe we can... Okay, go ahead, Ezra. No, I'm uh, Marwa speaking. Okay, Marwa, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, uh, Tormac, we can say um, it's a raw material, uh, how uh, to make um, street. Daria? No, I'm um, Marwa. No, I mean, Daria had said that asphalt, so I was asking oh. her to explain. Um, Marwa asking you, is it raw materials? Durya. Marva, your question is, uh, what is Tormek? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, we can, can I explain uh, the uh, Tormek? Is it the same, uh, the raw material we used uh, to, uh, to make uh, a street? Yes, sure, you can explain Tormek. As an example, I think what I'm understanding, what I'm hearing, she's asking as an example, is that the same as a street where cars ride on a tarmac? Is that like the sidewalk? Is it a paved area without trees on it? And again, I'm just coming from a place where I can speak more to give that explanation, the deeper explanation. The tarmac is the place where planes sit and they take off. We typically do not say that the road is a tarmac, but it really is. We just call a road for cars a road, or we call it a street. But in essence, Marwa, it is the same thing. So if I had an apple that I could eat, I could also say it's fruit. But it doesn't really tell me that it's an apple because a banana is fruit also. Does yeah. That make sense? So just uh, see, so you're in the you're in the neighborhood of understanding what a tarmac is by saying that it's a road, but we typically don't call a road a tarmac. Or Doctor, a, we can we can just use the word runway to replace the word tarmac. Yes, exactly. Runway okay, is um, I want tarmac. Again? A runway is the synonym of Tormek? Yes. It would be the synonym of the, a runway. Because the plane sits on the, the runway. Cineplex. The plane sits on the, the tarmac. Mm. The plane sits on the runway. But we say that it's a runway when the plane is taken off. <laughs> but it's the same. It's the same. He's on the runway, he's on the tarmac, he's on the road. Yeah, well, did, did everyone get the meaning of the word tarmac here? The, uh, it's the clear. Okay, is it clear for you, Rafiq, Jamil, Khalid? Yeah. Is it clear for all of you? That's clear. Great. Mm -hmm. Good. And when, when you go into your breakout rooms, try to use what, you, what you're learning Right now, try to use these words, tarmac, one-way, highway, and the letter S. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just giving an example. Someone else can try now? Because I want... I'm trying to well, that's sir. Use mm -hmm. the same word in a sentence or explain it. It's, it's, it's speaking practice, Haseen. It, I don't want to just direct everything. What does anyone else want to say about the article did you oh, notice okay. any, did you notice anything about the article did you find something in there that you didn't quite understand do you want to know why the turtle was on the tarmac or on the runway mm -hmm. okay well since i had read your article <clears throat> for um like three or maybe four times mm -hmm. i think 
the meaning of the whole article is so clear to me. But the only thing that I didn't get about the, art, the text is um, why is this like, um, um, why did they scare the controllers in the airport um, that the, um, the, the, uh, the, sm the turtle was on the runway? Was it because the turtle um, could have gone to the uh, engine of the uh, plane? That's a great question. If I were to yeah. answer, it could be any. Oh, how is the turtle going to cause an accident? It could be anything. It could be anything that you can imagine. What I first imagine is that as a plane is ready to take off, and here's this turtle on the tarmac, and here's this plane that is so precision driven that once it hit it, it's going to turn the wheels of the plane. Okay. And maybe make the plane at the speed that it's going, it could hit other planes on the tarmac. Mm -hmm. Or if no one really saw the turtle, the turtle could crawl up into one of those big engine holes in the back. And then when the rotor starts to turn, it isn't going to go because the turtle is all mushed up. Yeah. But I really, that would turn into a turtle juice. Yeah, turtle juice. <laughs> and I also think I remember that they said that turtles bring good luck. If something is yeah. going to bring me good luck, I certainly don't want to kill it. Yeah. But there is no uh, true, false, yes, no, right or wrong. It's just reading and understanding what you understood, which would generate questions for you to ask like we are doing now okay great question where about the others does anyone of you guys want to take part in this enriching conversation hello doctor i want to add an information that turtle is the uh, longevity animal in the in world and it may be alive Minimum five five hundred years. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. That. No, I did not. Yeah. Me neither. And how do you know this? How do you know this? I know from general knowledge. <laughs> okay. 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 I want you all not to be shy. Ezra and Durya, you notice how Haas can help? Help, just jump in, help. This is what fluency and just the confidence is, because you guys are great. Uh, Durya, you're muted now. Well, I am very sorry. Uh, my internet is very poor. I couldn't hear what was said. It was not clear to me. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's unstable, but I will focus on right now. All right. So I was just saying, Durya, that I expect from Ezra, Haseen, and yourself to just jump in. Whenever there's quiet moments, you'll say, Rafiq, that's great. Keep going. Ezra, you'll say, right. Indeed, I haven't heard from you. What are your thoughts? Haseen is trying to carry it with me, but this is what conversation is, and this is how you feel and build your own confidence, just by jumping in when there's like five seconds of silence, say something, even if you have to ask okay. it to yourselves. Okay. Uh, let me ask a question about the text. Uh, why were the flights delayed? Uh, in the text, why were the flight delayed in the text? Okay. Well, um, uh, um, who is the question for that, Daria? Can you rephrase it, please? Okay. So, um, I said, why the flight, flights, uh, why were the flights delayed? Who were you asking? Okay. Who did you ask? Uh, okay. I am asking to Rafik. Rafik? 
Uh, have you read the text before? Yes, I, I read before, but I understand your okay. question. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm repeating my question. Why were the flights delayed? In the text, it says five flights delayed. So why? Mm -hmm. What happened? Maybe, maybe the polite uh, saying uh, uh, something uh, not right uh, in the way of playing. Maybe I don't uh, actually. And what was I that don't, thing, uh, according to the text? Understand. What was it? Was it a huge animal? Was it a, a dinosaur? What was it according yeah, to the text? Maybe a rock. It was a turtle. No. It was a two point okay. one kilogram turtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that was a nice answer. What about the rest? Thank we you. have Marwa, we still have Marwa, we have Masood, we have Khalid as well, and he's from Algeria. What about you guys? Do you have something to add? Maybe a question or maybe one word that you didn't get? Or anything. Mm. I want anything. to hear... I want to hear your voice. The goal is to just speak. And, I, and, and this is what my thought was, Haseen, because the groups are so large. I mean, it's not like it's so large, but because it's large. I know what it's like. I really do. When I'm trying something for the first time, like driving, when I got my driver's license, I was just like a turtle. Oh, I was very tense and afraid to even press the gas to get the car to go. And my mom said, like, just drive, you're okay. But it was only when I went to a small area, a small street that I would drive and feel comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys in small groups. Uh, Daria and Haseen, if you both end up in the same group, come back out. One of you come out. Okay, and then doctor, I'll we can be split into Two breakout rooms, only we are seven here. Yeah, it's only seven. You're only going to go into two groups. So it's just yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm just saying because I don't know how to do you specifically. If you end up in the same group, one of you gotcha. Daria, Daria come out. No, Haseen come out. Come back <laughs> to the front. You can got stay. you, Doctor. Okay, I'm going to put you in groups now. Uh Daria, just talk about the article. Encourage them to talk. I know Ezra is going to do fine wherever she ends up. Uh, so now I'm going to put you into groups for a minute. Two groups. Two groups. Here we go. Oh, I know how to move you. Duria, <laughs> Ezra, and Khalid. Okay, this is fine. So Haseen is with Mawa, Masood, and Rafiq. Duria, Ezra, and Khalid are together. Okay, here you go. Ladies and boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, close all rooms. Are you not going yet? What am I supposed to do next? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Join, join, join. Oh, there you go. Okay. Rafiq, are you not in a room yet? Rafiq, are you not in a room? The students are in a breakout room right now. So let's see.
It's because of a turtle, right? So Esra, uh, why the uh, flight uh, delayed? I mean, what happened? Uh, because of a turtle uh, on the tarmac caused a uh, delay at the airport. Why did they wait for the turtle? Huh? Why did they wait for the turtle? Yeah, because... What did they believe? About turtles? I mean, like they could kill turtle, right? But they waited for the turtle. Why? <laughs> turtle is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> turtle? Go <Goldfish>. away. <laughs> So Ezra, okay. was the turtle a sign of good luck? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they, I think so. So you don't kill things that are good luck. You wouldn't kill something that is good. No, luck. I, I want, I, I also want, uh, don't want to kill a turtle. Also, they are also living beings. So uh, <laughs> if they give good luck or bad luck, it uh, doesn't matter because of they are living things, living beings. Okay. So I, uh, I have to rescue them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dara, now Ezra, was that in the article? <laughs> was that in the article? <laughs> yes. I know you are giving your point of view that I guess you're saying that animals should not be killed. Yes. But I, I, but the article just said that the the turtle was on the tarmac and the turtle. For any reason, I don't know the reason, the, the turtle could cause problems for the airplane if the airplane ran over it. As I said, it could steer the plane in a different direction or the turtle could get into the big, you know, the big motor of the plane and cause problems that way. It, it, it could be any number of reasons. And the turtle is a symbol of good luck. So for this reason, they may not want to run over the turtle as well. Okay. Uh, this is Khalid's first time. Mm -hmm. So uh, he hasn't uh, had a chance uh, to read the article. So I'm going to ask a general question to you, Khalid. Okay? Yes. So in yeah. fact, because of a turtle, the uh, five flights had to be delayed. Okay? So do you think this is right? Uh, like all the passengers uh, had to wait, this is something right? They should wait for a turtle or for a creature or not? I think it's not, it's not right, it's not right. There is, a, uh, there is something wrong here. So do you agree uh, with the text? Uh, I, mean, I, five, I, you know, so I, I, I did, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't read the text, but uh, I think when I when I heard you about uh, when you discuss about this uh, topic, I I I don't I, I don't agree with, uh, with this. Okay. So very quickly, if I may, Daria, let me tell the story of the article. In this article, I think in Japan, there was a turtle on the tarmac or the runway, because the turtle was on the tarmac or the runway, the plane did not take off on time. So that one plane didn't take off. And no, you remember planes line up to take off. Plane one, plane two, plane three, plane four, plane five. If plane one doesn't leave on time, plane two probably will not leave on time either because of a turtle on the tarmac. They had to remove the turtle because they didn't want to run over the turtle. So they found the turtle and took the turtle off of the tarmac so the planes could go. But this caused a delay. That was pretty much what the article is about. And it just had vocabulary with words ending in S. But the gist of the story is that because a turtle was on the tarmac, the plane was delayed. Do you understand what I just said, Khalid? 
Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, so the the late of the the cause of the delay about the plane is the turtle. This is the cause. Mm -hmm. Right. And this so, is the, so when 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 the first plane when the first plane uh, who, who was late, so the the next plane uh, even the next plane will 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 delay also. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So a question uh, might. A question might be, do you think they should have gone ahead while the, while the turtle was on the tarmac and just run over it or try to go around it? I think that would be the question. What do you think they should do? Should they wait or should they just go? I, I think should, uh, they should wait. <laughs> Why do you think they should wait? Why? I think uh, should uh, to to avoid uh, to avoid uh, maybe maybe to avoid the uh, problems. Okay, so can you tell me? I agree, I agree. But to make it a little longer, can you give me another? Can you give me another sentence? Maybe I think they should wait, even though people will be late on the plane getting to their destination. Or I believe they should wait to save the turtle. Like Ezra says, she don't believe that you should kill an animal. Just give me a few more words. I'm only trying to encourage you to speak. That is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think, uh, I think people uh, should wait and uh, and uh, keep uh, keep their their selves their, their selves in in security. So. Uh, this is my this is my opinion. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Continue, Daria. I'm going out. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Dr. Priscilla. Uh, now I'm going to uh... enter the fence and um, go onto the the runway. So even when you have walls surrounding the airport, that animal can enter to the um, runway. Did you come and enter? Oh, okay, that's yeah, fine. They, they will check, they should check the, um, the area before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, one of the words that was mentioned in the, in the text is the word um, pilot and controllers. Um, do you all guys know what does the word pilot mean? Yeah, yeah. I know that pilot is like a driver. Suppose who drive car, we call him driver, and who uh, run uh, air, uh, air, airplane or helicopter, we call them pilot. And who drive ship, we call them uh, mariner. Am I right? Yes, you are right. A taxi driver and a pilot. And what was the third word? Yeah. A mariner? Mariner in the ship? Mariner, that's the one that drives a, sh a ship. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Rafiq, what do you think the word pilot mean? Pilots, it's uh, persons uh, who drive uh, the plane. Okay. It's captain of, uh, of the... This way. An airplane. You can start your answer okay. by saying... You can start the answer by saying, that's a great question. And then you go into the answer. Like, um, that's a great question, Hussein. And, and a pilot is the person that drives an airplane. Can we repeat that together? I'm going to yeah. re-ask the yeah. question. Yeah, okay. pilot a person. What do you mean the word pilot mean? What do you think the word pilot mean? A good question. What? The pilot is, is um, a person who <laughs> drives the airplane. Yeah. Uh, that's the person that controls an airplane, Marwa. What? It's the person that controls the airplane, like in the head of the airplane. 
okay a just pilot. handle he can't uh, he's not the driver well he is driving the airplane oh. but but i think we cannot use the word drive for a plane oh, because okay. it's so huge and he's not driving in fact he's just yeah, right. orienting the plane yeah okay he's just taking off the plane helping the yeah, plane yeah. to take uh, yeah, take off. Okay. Well, I'm going to re-ask the question to the three of you, and the answer is, should be, that's a great question. A pilot is the person that manages a plane. Okay, so, everybody? So before they start, because Hasin has been here before and still is for almost two years, it's the STEM. If you listen to native speakers before we speak, we might say something just to get our thoughts together. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Hmm. So when you ask a question, you will start out in this case and say, that's a great question, Haseen. A pilot is someone that flies a plane or whatever it is that you were saying. And this is when you're looking for fluency. There are certain things that you can say that you just learn to say it. If a question is being asked, that's a great question. That's fluency. Even if you don't know the answer. That's a great question, Haseen. I don't know the answer, but it's a great question. <laughs> so you can know, you can feel confident in saying that's a great question. So Haseen asked me. And I'll model. Ask me the okay. question. Okay. Well, doctor, what do you think the word pilot mean? That's a great question, Haseen. A pilot is someone that flies the plane. Mm -hmm. That's and even, even, even if a learner is taking like some sort of test, that will help him gain some time. Like um, if you're taking the ILOT or the TOEFL test, yes. you are giving yourself some um, extra time and you are not putting yourself under pressure. Exactly. So, exactly. So, um, mm -hmm. We can practice this together, doctor. Okay. Okay. Rafiq uh, is not here. He said he's going to take his dinner. Okay. But Marwa, um, what do you think the word pilot mean? That's a great question. I think oh. the pilot is the person who flies the bad weather conditions. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so they are the reasons for delaying. All right. Um, and what is unharmed? Unharmed? Being safe. Being in safe. Exactly. So uh, what you can tell about the text, about the art uh, turtle? Unharmed? Esra? I think they are unharmed and they uh, just in safe. Uh, people rescue them uh, by using net. And so uh, I think they are uh, unharmed. Uh, the turtle is unharmed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And Khalid, uh, why the turtle is unharmed? No. The turtle in, uh, I think, the turtle uh, in, uh, in a risk. At risk, okay. Yeah. But what happens to the turtle? Is it unharmed? Mm. Safe? Yes, do you know? No, in risk. No, the turtle, tur I think the turtle in, uh, in risk, in, in risk situation. Mm -hmm. And I, just because I remember he had not read the article, we didn't say what happened to the turtle. We just knew that the turtle was on the runway. So, Halid, the turtle was removed from the tarmac or removed from the runway, which means that uh, he was not harmed. He was unharmed. The turtle was unharmed. And um, to, in today's lesson, what I really want you all to be able to do at the end of this session I know Daria and Ezra can do it. I'm just going to remind you that fluency comes when you can say three or four words together. So 
uh, Duria, ask me the question, and I'll see if you can pick up what I want you to be able to do, Khalid. Ask me the question, Duria, for fluency from my part. Ask me the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same question. The same question. Oh, the same question. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, why is the turtle unharmed in the text? That's a, that's a great question. That's the stem. That's the fluent part. That's a great question. Whether I know the answer or not, we should be able to say, that's a great question. That's a great question. The turtle was, was unharmed because they removed it from the tarmac. But the fluency is going to come. It's like you're getting a running start. If you can say something, then other things will follow and probably will be smoother. So at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to say, that's a great question. Or as we've learned, Ezra, hmm, let me think about that. Or I'm not sure. Hmm, that's a great question. Do you see, Khalid, what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So ask Khalid his question again. Remember, the turtle was not harmed. So the turtle was unharmed, Khalid. Ask okay. Khalid the same okay. question. All right. Uh, Khalid, uh, why is the turtle unharmed? That's a great question. That's a great question. And the answer? And the answer? <laughs> Just make up something. I, yeah, I, the, the, the turtle was unharmed because they, uh, he removed, uh, removed the, the, the drum. Okay, and can you say that with fluency? The, that's a great question. The turtle was unharmed because they removed it from the tarmac. It doesn't have to be that, but something. Oh, that's a great question. Okay, again. Okay. Ask him again. Uh, Ask him again, Duria. Okay. Khalid, okay. um, why is the turtle unharmed? Oh, that's a great, the, the great question. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, the turtle it was uh, unharmed because uh, he removed the, the, the drum. Okay, and you've got a lot right. of, you have a lot of unnecessary words. Be behind that, but you got it. So maybe ask Ezra a different question, and her response will be, that's a great question, or whatever stem you wish to use. Okay? Okay. Okay. Not something difficult. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I asked a few questions, but uh, I need to ask something different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm, why, why was the turtle on the tarmac? Uh, what was the turtle's purpose there? Who are you asking? Ezra. Oh, uh, thank you, Daria. It's a difficult question, but uh, I'm going to try to uh, say something about it. <laughs> I think uh, turtle want to um, look around and <laughs> just <laughs> what about the weather? Just to try to. Uh, go somewhere else, uh, then just uh, it um, disappeared. No, just disappeared. No. Uh, Ezra, you that your voice, and I know you know Daria, so you you're not shy with her, but your voice went down so low. I'm I'm trying to be pulled in. What? What is she saying? <laughs> okay. So ask her again. <laughs> ask her the question again. Okay. Uh, Ezra, why was the turtle on the tarmac? What, uh, what could be its aim or purpose? Oh, uh, thank you, Daria. Uh, that's uh, 
a nice question, but uh, it's a bit tough. Uh, but <laughs> I will <laughs> try to answer it. Uh, I think turtle, uh, if it thinks, uh, I think it should be uh, just have a look around and they just <laughs> yeah. uh, worry about how the light uh, going on. And then, <laughs> so they try to go uh, <laughs> to our right <laughs> to look around, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, we're going to go back into the bigger rooms now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's unmuted, Dr. Priscilla. Well, we had a whale of a time. <laughs> how, how was the breakout room, Daria? Yeah. How was it, uh, it was great, uh, the same. Uh, we, we discussed about the text, and then uh, we just uh, checked some vocabulary part, like spot, uh, unharmed, delay, uh, delay, Yes, and we talk about these vocabulary parts and then the summary of the text. What about what about you? What did you do in the breakout rooms? Okay, okay. Well, it wasn't about the things that you mentioned there, yeah, but we went further a little bit. It was about, well, at first it was about the contents of the text. And um, right after we talked about the meaning of the word pilot, mm -hmm. we used it in sentences and then we learned how to use the um, introductory um, sentence, that's a great question. And um, at the end, we talked about superstitions because the, at the end of the, of the text, it says that um, when you find in, Jap in Japan, people believe that when you find a turtle um, in the runway, it is a good thing. It brings luck to your future. So we try to uh, mention um, several superstitions from different countries. We had Marwa from Jordan and we had um, um, Masood, yeah, he's from Bangladesh. So that's all what we did. Oh, sounds great. Yeah. Okay, Ezra, okay. do you have something to say? Yes, uh, we talk about the text and we also focus on uh, some vocabularies, as I said before. And I think it's really fun. Uh, and Thank you so much, Dr. Priscilla and Daria, uh, for your moderating, and also have been. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. So yeah. we, we will be meeting um, once a week. You'll have things that you can do in the private Facebook group, should you choose to do so. This is how you're going to learn a variety of things, how to put sentences together for fluency. I'm interested in knowing now, what is it that you'd like to do? Uh, Halid, what would you like to learn? And this is not to say that you're going to learn what you want, but if it's in my wheelhouse, I'll see if I can put it there. What would you like to be able to do? You have six weeks to do what it is that you'd like to leave after six weeks. What would you like to be able to do? Halid? Yeah. So I want to improve my, my, uh, my speaking. Okay, so as you all are listening to Halid say that he wants to improve his speaking, we started on that today, um, Halid, and I'm just going to clarify what I, I hear what you're saying, but I want to make sure that we can accomplish some things. I gave you an example earlier, or I gave an example when I first started to learn how to drive, I would just drive just like a turtle. My, my, my knuckles would hold the steering wheel. I was like, I was afraid to drive. And you have to push, you put your foot on the gas pedal to make the car go. The speed limit may be 45. I would go 10 because, oh, oh, I might, I might hit something. 
But I was. You are you are a silly, careful driver. I was just a very careful driver. So when I hear you say you want to be a better speaker, I want to believe that you're saying that you want to be a speaker that can speak more fluently. I could be wrong, and I could ask you, what does being a better speaker mean? What does that look like? Now, obviously, you're not going to sound like me, nor should you set that as a goal for six weeks. But at the end of six weeks, what would you, what do you, what do you think you could realistically accomplish? It could be, I'm just saying, it could be able to use 10 vocabulary words without having to think about them. Then you've got to come up with the 10 vocabulary words that you want to use. Today, you learn how to use the STEM. That's a great question. But after you got, that's a great question. It was whatever was to follow. It was like, mm, there was too many unnecessary sounds that followed. So you might want to be able to say 10 words. You might want to be able to say a sentence stem fluently or five sentence stems with something on the end of it fluently. Uh, And I may not be even explaining it well enough for you to give me an answer, but to say that you want to be a better communicator, better speaker, well, we all, you've already done that just by being able to say, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. So, Mawa, while he's thinking about that, what would you like to accomplish at the end of six weeks? For me, I would like to uh, improve my English by using a good uh, right grammar or correctly, using the grammar correctly. And I want to, um, like, uh, improve my pronunciation uh, more than. Okay, which uh, one? Which one is more important, the grammar or the pronunciation? Because you can. Boy. We'll work on both, but you're only going to leave out with, leave with one for sure. Okay, I'll uh, we'll go with the pronunciation. It's okay. more important. We're going to go with pronunciation. So we're going to work yeah. on everything that comes from your mouth will not, be, will not be pronounced correctly, but you will say, for example, have difficulty with the letter S, you'll be able to pronounce the words ending in S with the is, the Z, and the is correctly. But it is going to require you are doing some work outside of just meeting with me every uh, once a week. And I'll give you activities that will help you to do that. And I'm glad you didn't say grammar, but anyone can say grammar and we can work with that. But in order for you to be able to use the grammar correctly, you need to be able to understand it in written form because I don't teach grammar, but I can help you once you tell me what the correct way is if I don't recognize it, but I won't necessarily be able to, even though I can recognize it when I'm saying it. So I said in my recording, I should have had L-Y on some of those words. I said something different. It should be differently. But when you're speaking, in all honesty, whether you are speaking English or British English, it is to be understood with fluency. Okay? But we can definitely work on the pronunciation. So when you find words that are giving you difficulty with pronouncing them, we can talk about those words. So you'll be able to talk about this article that we just read about the turtle. And you'll be able to pronounce the words correctly, the tarmac, airplane, pilot. I'm not saying that you're going to know that there's a difference between a driver and a pilot. But I think you know the difference. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about being able to pronounce the words correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ezra, what would you like to be able to do at the end of six weeks? Uh, I would like to... Uh, improve my fluency also and also I lost my uh, confidence so I would like to achieve my confidence again <laughs> okay no you haven't so, lost it <laughs> so, so well uh, that's what it's I, I, I don't understand. I don't think I don't think it's the fluency but I think she does she hasn't you haven't lost your confidence you just haven't it's because you're talking to me because when I listen to you and Ezra 
to Israel, when I listen to you talking to Daria, you haven't lost your confidence. It's only because you're talking to me. And yeah. I'm just, and I want you to overcome that. So we're going to have you reach that goal. But what has to happen after the six weeks, you still need to engage in talking, just talking mm -hmm. to people whose first language might be English. And so, hope, or it doesn't have to be someone whose first language is English, but I think that's where you, you feel like I'm judging you, but honestly, I'm not. I'm just so thrilled that you're here. I am so thrilled that yeah. you're here. So. No, sir, I, I've always thought that Israel in particular is the cherry on the cake. Yeah. She just gives a particular spirit to the group whenever she comes, right? Yes. She and yeah. people both. Yeah. So, so we're going to work on your confidence and that confidence is going to come. We've got, a, I have another friend. Her name is um, Dwana and Haas, Haas loves Coach Dwana. She's an American. She's from New York and she speaks to me very fast and I'll invite her and you, you'll love her too, but you may feel like, oh, she's just like Priscilla and you'll, you'll find that you know, it's just your, 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 your confidence. And I think it's just because you're speaking to an English speaking person. Uh, Dara, Daria, what is it that you want to work on? Uh, I think that I will enrich my vocabulary okay. and I'm going to use collocations, phrasal verbs, idioms, uh, or words, uh, as much as I can. Which one do you want to work on? Just one thing. <laughs> we can work on, we can work on all of them but i'm just just choosing one yeah. i prefer phrasal verbs okay we'll work on phrasal verbs exactly okay and what i'll be asking you to do is to actually bring the, the list of phrasal verbs that you really want to be able to use because when i think if you just look for me to give you the phrasal verbs it's out of context so when you can give me the phrasal verbs i know that the phrasal verbs are going to be two words together usually sometimes three but when you give me these phrasal verbs just off the top of your head give me two okay two. I, I will be there no and right one now. more thing right i'd now. like to point out yes uh, dr priscilla i watched your uh, video uh, it was about like ielts speaking uh, speaking writing so you discussed uh, sports different sports types in the video i really like that like advantages and disadvantages of the video. So I would like to have uh, like a debate club. Like we can talk about a sport, we can discuss advantages, disadvantages. So I like such topics, right, okay. to talk about agree or disagree, okay, like this. Okay, so is That's that what, perfect, is that, I guess. Is that what you want to focus? You want to focus on something like a debate. Okay, so that's what we'll yes, do debate, in, this, yes, in, this, in this six weeks. So we will, that will be your goal that you will be able to understand how to do a debate. And Haseen? Um, well, I believe I still have several things to work on. I believe that um, mm -hmm. my understanding to English is good since mm -hmm. I'm able to understand people um, like native speakers that speak faster than you, doctor. That's something good. But another thing that I would love to work on is the um, idioms. There, yeah, I just mentioned idioms. I would love to pick um, like two or maybe three idioms that I would love to work on for the rest of the um, five weeks. Okay. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay. So now we'll go back to Halid. Halid, what did you want to work on? Yeah. What? Maybe I want to learn more, more vocabulary. Vocabulary. Yeah, use it in, uh, in speaking. Okay. And again, just so that I can measure, you're going to learn more than what you're saying, but I want to be able to say that, oh, I can use five idioms now and use those five idioms correctly. This is not going to be an issue with Haseen, but let's just say that Haseen wasn't a fluent speaker but he didn't care about being fluent. He just wanted to be able to use idioms. So he may be able to use his idioms, but he's not going to be fluent. But that will not be the case with Haseen. Khalid, you want to use vocabulary. So in the next six weeks, I would imagine you should be able to understand 
How many words do you think you should be able to understand? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or more. How many words would you like to be able to understand? And use. Mm. Well, let's just start this way. Let's start with the 10 words in today's lesson. I'll send you the lesson. There are 10 words. You'll need to understand what these words mean. You'll need to be able to tell me about this article. It doesn't have to be fluent, but as you tell me about this article and you're using these 10 words, you're going to understand these 10 words. Then the next week, if you do well with these 10, we can add 10 more, or we can say that your goal in the next six weeks is to learn two words a day so that you know that you can use. This is going to, what are some of the words that were in the vocabulary list? Anyone remember? Tarmac, signals. Runway. Runway. Hot. Unharmed. 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 So when you talk about this article or whatever it is that you want to talk about, it doesn't have to be about the article, but the article gives you a point of reference. So I may say, Khalid, what are you going to do after today's class? After today's class, I'm going to do something that has, I'm going to go, I can't even think. I'm just trying to create a scenario. Create a scenario for me, anyone. Give me a scenario so I can just use some of my words. Okay, well, first, let's just make sure that he's following, doctor. Okay. Okay, well, Khalid, did you, did you, did you understand what? Dr. Priscilla was saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to pull up my vocabulary words. So, Khalid, I want you to give me a scenario. Do you know what a scenario is? Yeah. Give me a scenario. About? Anything. Anything of your choice. Anything that you know something about. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> well, it can be about you being delayed from a, an important appointment. Like imagine that the um, tomorrow morning you will go and see um, maybe a doctor. That's, let's not say a doctor, but maybe um, it's an appointment to get a new job. And then you are delayed just because of, I don't know. And you can start to talk about that using one or maybe two words. Of the no, no, um, no. I, I will use the word. I just want him to give me the scenario. I will use okay. the words. Just okay. Well, doctor, imagine that you will go to the doctor tomorrow. And then um, tomorrow what the, morning. What is the purpose of the doctor's visit? What is um, it? <laughs> yeah, that's, let's say that's a monthly check, check-in. Okay. Okay, so routine checkup. Okay, so then here are your 10 words. So your scenario is tomorrow I have an appointment with my doctor for a routine checkup. So that's the scenario. Yeah. You got that, Halid? That's the scenario, and I'm going to talk about that. So, Halid, I understand that the reasons that you're going to the doctor on tomorrow is for your routine checkup. Have you noticed anything that might be a cause for you to want to go to the doctor? Will you be going to a nearby doctor? What, what was the signals for you that made you decide you wanted to go to the doctor? And you see, I'm thinking as I'm going, but the next time I tell it, it's going to be a lot faster. And one of the things that caught my attention was that you probably needed to go to the doctor because of uh, my thing won't write because it caught my attention. Coincidentally, I had the same issue with whatever, whatever, whatever. All right. So now, Khalid, I believe some of the reasons that you're going to a nearby physician is because something has signaled evidence that you needed to go. You see how now I'm using the words a lot freer because I can see, I can see a situation in front of my eyes. And this is where you'll be able to use the words. 
but you have to understand the definitions of the words also. Yours make your response will not come out as smooth as mine, but I'm able to eventually get all of these words out. And I'll give you a scenario for you to think about. Well, no, we'll just keep the scenario of the airplane just to make it easier. You'll understand it as you see the activities and you start to do the activities. Now, Halid, are you a member of the speak? Are you a member of the private Facebook group yet? Yes or no? Halid? Halid? Are you a member of the Facebook group yet, Halid? Because the one thing that I don't want to do, I don't want to create these activities and you're not going to do them. Uh, Halid, your microphone is muted. Your microphone is muted. I think he's not there anymore, doctor. Okay. Well, he's, his picture is still there. Mawa, are you still there? And who knows, I didn't put your names. Are you? Have you joined the group yet? The Facebook group? Mawa. Yeah, um, I'm here. Did you join the Facebook group yet? Yeah, I joined. Okay. Did you introduce yourself? Let me show you. Let me show you where I'm saying, because I don't think that unless you did it oh. just recently. Yeah, I don't... Well, my wife, she's not if, talking if... about the Telegram group, not the Telegram group. Oh. The oh, private Facebook. Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group. So I got a lot of things, a lot of places for people to. The uh, I'll, check, I'll check it now. If, um... Okay, I'll show you where you need to go. And okay. Whenever you um, become a member of the group, Marwa, you just need to scroll down. You see that post where it's mentioned that you should introduce yourself in a comment. And you can just record a video. You don't have to be like um, in front of the camera. I mean, you don't have to show app. You just can um, put your phone on the floor and just you record your voice and then post the video in, in a comment. See. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not in. I'm not in the group. I'm not in this group. No, I'm you're not. not. I'm okay, not so you you. This is a private group. This is not the same as all the people in. In um. Yeah. Telegram. So you'll need to join here. And let's see, uh, let's see, maybe I can. How can I find this group? Let me see if I can add you right now. Where am I trying to go? Invite, invite, I think. Maybe we can send the link to the group later in the Telegram group. Sorry, I can't. Uh, yeah, because, okay. okay, let me spell your name for me and see. I don't think we're friends though, but let's see. M-A-R-W-A, Mawa. I don't, we're not friends, so I can't add you. You'll have to add yourself. But anyway, as soon as you can, go in here and introduce yourself. And your activities are going to be to mm -hmm. whatever it is that I put together for you. So who was it that wanted pronunciation? Who wanted that? That was Marwa, yeah. Marwa? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mar, I'll yeah. be... I'll put activities there. Who wanted to improve their fluency? Who was that? I but think that's... that's I, um, Ezra was, I think it was supposed to be confidence, but Ezra. And who <laughs> wanted the phrasal verb? No, Ezra is already confident. And debate. Yeah. No, but it's it's being confident in speaking. She has the confidence, but it's actually interacting with English speakers, that kind yeah. of confidence. Uh, who won the phrasal verbs? Was that you, Dara? Yes, exactly. Daria. And idioms was Haas. And vocabulary is Halid. Okay. Now, all of you are going to learn from the different things that everyone else is learning, but I want you to be able to really know that at the end of six weeks, you were able to do Whatever, but you have to be willing to play full out. You'll have videos that you'll need to watch. You'll need to do practice activities. You'll come back to the Facebook group, practice, practice, practice. So, and I will try and respond to everything that you post pretty much. And other people can respond to you as well. So, all right. Was well, this a good session for you guys today? Yeah, evolved.
Okay, great. Well, the fruitful one. well, I'm so happy that Ezra, you're back. Daria, mm-hmm. I'm so happy that you're back. I don't know where oh, the O W A I S is. He did. Oh, wait. <laughs> with the O. There is someone with an A that has joined. So um, now anyone else that's coming in, they will be learning the same things that you all are learning. I don't think I'll be adding anything new specifically. I'll add some things, but specifically I'll be t- focusing on these activities. So it, it's my pleasure to talk to you guys. Uh, Ezra, Duria, and Haseen, could you remain? Now, why don't everybody go out and Ezra, Duria, and Haseen, please come back. Bye, guys. Thanks. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, teacher and all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Marwa. Thank you, Khalid. Goodbye. See you next time.